Hi guys, and welcome to Pandora's Box. Today I'm going to show you how to quickly update your OpenCore install to the most recent version, which at this point is version 8.6, using OpenCore Auxiliary Tools. Now I highly recommend that you back up your system before continuing with any update, and I have a previous tutorial covering how to do this that will be included in the links below along with my other video on how to download and install OpenCore Auxiliary Tools. So let's begin. So the first thing we need to do is start OpenCore Auxiliary Tools. And we will be met with this window. What I do is I go and check to see if there's any updates. I'm okay there, I have the most recent version. If you have the option to update it will come up here you can update download install and then restart and you'll be with, met with this window now you'll notice up in the top left hand corner here it says open core 8.6 that's not the version we're running i have no efi in here so it doesn't know that is the most recent version that it has in the downloaded database that it has i will show you how to update that um, database to the latest version as we go along. So what we need to do now is mount the EFI and open the config plist. And here it's called mount ESP. So you mount ESP. It will ask you what disk you want to do of the disks that you have available. Now if you're not sure of the disk device ID, you can open disk utility Highlight your disk and down here you'll see the device ID and we just close disk utility and go back and you can see it's disk S2. I mount and open config plist, it's even quicker doing that now, you don't even have to look for the plist. Here it will ask you for your password that you use when you log into your computer. And there you have it. You can see the EFI has come up on the desktop there on the right hand side of the screen and the EFI bits and pieces, the content of it has come up in here. Now what I need to do is go over to upgrade OpenCore and Kex. So the first thing we need to do here is we need to check to see if there's any update to the active Kex that we have. So I click on check for Kex updates. It will go through its database. As you can see, mine are all right. They will come up red if they need updating. If they do need updating, click update Kex and it will do it all for you. Once that's done, you go over to choose open core version and select latest version. Then you click get open core, which it will do. It's updated the database, that's what I was telling you about earlier. As you can see, I've got a number of red items up here that need updating. When you click Start Sync, it will all be done. There you go. Now you may have a red exclamation mark come up on OC Validate up here. Don't worry about it, just go File, Save, and then it will go away and you can click OC Validate. Once you've done that, you can quit Open Core Auxiliary Tools and you've got the new version installed. We'll eject the EFI. You can now restart and use the latest version of Open Core. And we're done. As always, Feel free to comment, click like, subscribe and click on that bell to get any notifications of new videos I may upload. Until then, thanks for watching.